Sunday with Brett? Yeah, you know, Brett's my boy. Um, you know, one thing that hasn't been, you know, covered at all is me and Brett, you know, making up a minute later and hugging. Um, and that's that's just how the media goes, which is fine. But on Sunday, you know, there's a lot of frustration losing 51 to 14. And we're both very competitive guys. We want to win. Uh, we want to win out there. We're frustrated with what's going on. Emotions are running high. And I, I take I should I should not have pushed my boy. I shouldn't have done that. I got to put that on myself. I can't let frustration and emotion get to me. But at the end of the day, that's one of my best friends, man. Me and him are making jokes about pushing each other harder. And uh, we just both care. We both care a lot about winning. And we uh, we're both frustrated. And uh, we made up right after, but that just hasn't been the story that's been put out there, and that's fine. Uh, we've, been, we've been boys since, uh, got over it right away, been moving forward, ready to beat the Chiefs. How hard was it to see that as part of the fallout from Hackett getting fired? Take your I don't pay attention to any of that. I don't pay attention. To see Coach Hackett fired? That's always tough. That's another man's job. I got the utmost respect for Coach Hackett. And in my time of being able to play with Coach Hackett, I value him so much, respect him so much, and it was an honor to get to play for him. Uh, as well as uh, Dwayne Stukes and as well as Butch Berry. Um, these are the men's jobs. I'm never going to say anything, but it was anything but respect for guys like that because, I mean, they lost their jobs. Uh, my heart goes out to them, and I respect them a lot. And I think each and every one of those guys is going to be able to find success in the NFL in some way, shape, or form. What does Brent, sorry, Ben Steele bring to the offensive line in the last week? Yeah, he's another great coach, man. He's another great coach. Uh, he's been great all year for us. We love him in the offensive line room. Um, we get along with him great, and he's been pushing us. Uh, just got here today, and he did a great job coaching us up and getting us prepared for the game plan with the Kansas City Chiefs. So I got a lot of respect for him as well. Any impressions on Jerry Rossberg so far? Oh, man, I'm, I'm a big fan of Jerry. He's a uh, – I don't even know the word, man. I don't even know the word for Jerry. I, I don't even know the word. Anyways, uh, very on it. He's very on top of all of it, man. You got to respect him for that. And when he came in and he was helping with situations, I was a big fan of Jerry as well. And just seeing how well he stepped into this role, Cliss and how he's uh, taken upon him to get the most out of us and get this thing rolling, I respect him a ton. So I've really enjoyed it. Uh, there's been some changes, and uh, we're excited to see where that leads. So really trying to just buy into what Jerry's doing. When you think of game management role, it kind of seems like up top from the box, but had, he, had you guys already started it when he got here in week three to, to form that relationship anyway? Did guys get to know him? Yeah, yeah, no, we got to know him because they did a great job. Hackett, um, before every game, Jerry would get up and he would give presentations on, okay, here's the uh, officiating crew that we're going to be, you know, uh, out there in the game with. And here's some game situations from the NFL this past week that we want to focus on. And here's what they're calling. And, hey, here's a few calls and a few situations I want to remind you guys of, clock management situations. I want you guys to be aware, not just as coaches, but we want you all to be. Um, so we got to know Jerry really well and had some laughs with him throughout the season. So it wasn't like a guy we weren't familiar with just kind of stepping into that role. We all knew Jerry pretty well. If someone asked me to sell the Denver Broncos job to another head coach, I'd say I'm a left guard. My job is to be here and be the best dang left guard I can be, so I'm not going to sell nothing. Um, that's, there's, other, there's other people in this building that do that. I'm damn proud to be a Denver Bronco. Um, I've been proud for four years to be a Denver Bronco, proud to be a part of this organization and coaches that it has. Grew up watching these guys play. So just me to be able to wear that emblem, man, and be a Bronco, that's what I got to be focused on. You know what I mean? Um, I just got to be focused on being the best left guard for this team. And uh, we got a great GM and a great uh, owner in Greg Penner, man, and the, and the Waltons. And they'll do a heck of a job getting a new head coach in here, I'm sure. No, thank, you. thank you, guys. Thank you. I had a homeowner thought to make. Yesterday, Mr. Penner apologized to the fans for the product out on the field and said it's going to get better. You, you grew up here. You know what the thing is all about. What do you have to say to Bronco country about what has transpired this year? Yeah, well, we're 4-11, and 11, sir, you know, and, and I, we take a lot of pride in, in winning football games. We haven't done that this year. We haven't done that, and we're aware of that. And for me personally, there's no excuses. There's zero excuses. And you got guys like Coach Hackett that get blamed, and they get all the blame put on them. But I believe that us as players, I'm not going to speak for my teammates, but for me, I could have helped him out more. And my job, like I just got done answering, was to be a, the best left guard that I can be. And it's not where it needs to be. Being 4-11 is not where we want to be. Broncos are used to winning football. They're used to Super Bowls. They're used to playoffs. And for seven years now, we haven't been there. So my response is, is we do this 365 days out of the year and take a lot of pride in being Denver Broncos, and we're not where we need to be. And we've got to make sure we get that figured out. We're not going to put our heads down. We're not going to put our you know, tails between our legs. We're going to go out to work, and we're going to go get a win in Kansas City. And we're going to continue to work and, and do everything we can to make that happen. Thank God bless. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.